I'm not surprised. In fact, we recommended in our select committee report in the summer that if it wasn't clear what the real source of Aaron Banks's funds were to make these very large donations to leave.eu, then it should be referred to the National Crime Agency. Now, the Electoral Commission has been looking at these same issues and they have decided to refer because they've decided it's not at all clear. And rather than it just being not clear, they've been very specific that they believe that he wasn't the ultimate source of these funds and some of them came from, some of this came from a specific company they've named in the Isle of Man as well. That's why we said in our report that it wasn't clear to us having questioned him in front of the committee actually what the source of his funds were to make these very large donations. And we questioned him about companies that he'd sold, uh, supposedly made money from, but it turned out there was no real gain from the sale of that business. But other companies he's, he has, we don't really appear to make very much money. And we weren't convinced at the end of those sessions actually what the source of these funds were. But these are incredibly serious matters, and it's right that they are rigorously investigated. And I believe now the NCA is the right body to do that. If this was a foreign donation, um, that was made to a political campaign in this country, which would be an offence. And obviously people would be, would want to know as well, if Aaron Banks wasn't the ultimate source of this money, who was? Well, the suspicions come because it turns out Aaron Banks had meetings with, a number of meetings with the Russian ambassador and Russian business people where deals were discussed and these weren't known about before. So it's not surprising that this aroused suspicion. And we asked Aaron Banks about this when he appeared in front of the committee. Now he says that he never profited from his relationship with uh, these Russians and that he didn't do any deals with them.